Deep in the habitat known as War Thunder, we can come across a plethora of different individuals. In this hostile and tumultuous environment, all members, including you, the player, should make it a paramount priority to learn about the unique variations of teammates. Our first subject is called Capus Rushum. At first glance, it appears to be quite harmless. This light and speedy little thing, well, it zips around the battlefield with the grace of a butterfly. But quickly, this little wonder becomes a nightmare and spreads confusion amongst the rest of the team, as it is quite unorthodox for a teammate to pick such a light and easy to kill vehicle. However, it becomes rapidly clear what the intentions of this individual are. As they get to the indicated zone much faster than the rest of the pack, capture points become nothing but a pipe dream to obtain for the rest of the members. This kind of teammate is often punished by receiving aspersion and is rejected from the pack. Our second subject of the day is known as Plius Botia. This specimen is often encountered in ground confrontations. Unfortunately for the player, they're abundant in all battle ratings, especially towards the top. This marvelously imperceptive creature is identified by the fact that they are unable to hear nor see absolutely anything, especially threats to itself or the back within a two kilometer radius. The player might find themselves in a dangerous situation where the only help available can be provided by this teammate. Unfortunately, all call for assistance is in vain, as this individual doesn't even know his ass from his elbow. For the aggressor, it is easy prey. He strikes. The hostile will enjoy a fine feast of RP and SL tonight, perhaps rewarding himself with a shiny new FPE module. Next, we find ourselves yet another common subject within the ground confrontations environment. And that is, Ki non Loki, Latin for he does not speak, or at least according to Google Translate. This kind of teammate refuses to communicate under any circumstances, and any and all information that might be valuable for the player, such as a hostile unit's position, will promptly be kept in secret. The amount of teamwork on this individual is entirely non-existent. This lack of communicative skills often results in this player's perishing alone, wondering where his team is. The Comedus Mimus is quite rare in this environment, however in recent years it's been popping up more and more. It's characterized for attending the confrontation in a vehicle of much lower battle rating that otherwise would not be encountered. The less than harmful looking unit will either absolutely decimate the entire hostile team, resulting in a disgraceful loss for them and an amusing victory on the player side, or perish within the first 30 seconds as a result of fortuitous behavior. However, it is important to know that the latter outcome is the most frequent. Our next subject is called Cooperidius Plius, which is known for being an extremely rare and scarce endangered species. This kind of teammate will help the player when in need and put safety of the team before their own. Often well received and welcomed by the rest of the pack, these individuals are of utmost importance. They must be protected at all costs to ensure a positive outcome for the player's team.
the Anoius spamus, is an invasive species, being common in both ground and aerial confrontations. They cluster the player with any conceivable spamming methods, these including, but are not limited to, spamming in chat to attack the D-point, constantly firing machine guns at teammates, and being a general nuisance to the rest of the pack. These players find great amusement in their actions, especially when a reaction is provoked. It is best to radio mute them and let them starve for attention like their parents surely did to them when they were young. The following subject is known as Cassius Combatus, and it has been reproducing at an alarming rate in recent patches. Cassius Combatus currently dominates the sky environment of War Thunder using helicopters. This unique kind of teammate will purchase vehicles with capabilities that surpass the ones of the main tech tree and use them mindlessly to obtain different kinds of rewards. It is crucial for the player to be extremely cautious around these individuals as they seem to believe they possess the skill required for a top tier confrontation, when in reality they are like fish out of water. This species is rare and widely unknown. It is yet to be fully classified and is believed to be from a larger genome. These are the kind of teammates that often perform acts that the pack might find distasteful or disturbing, such as infixing widely controversial illustrations onto their vehicles, possessing nicknames of questionable nature, and combining letters in a rather repugnant and obtuse manner. This kind of degeneracy knows no bounds, and often results in targeted attacks from the pack itself. Our final subject of the day is simply known as the Bane of Existence. It is the most common of its kind when it comes to the battlefields and skies of War Thunder. This individual holds a gratuitous amount of self-interested thoughts, and thus will do everything in its power to be an absolute dipshit. Allied forces have captured a zone. They are often seen dispatching their own allies or using them as bait, as well as plunder other teammates' kills for their own benefit. What is more troubling is that if this kind of despised subject does not obtain what they yearn for, they will proceed to mock, provoke, and insult the player or the team's performance, regardless of the possibility of victory. This behavior is colloquially known as toxic, or simply being an asshole. you found this information helpful for your continuous enjoyment of War Thunder. For more information, please visit www.wheredidmyteamgo.com.org.edu.ru.eu.uk I had an aneurysm at least three times recording this.